Yes, yes, yes. It's another one with Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. And please hit that bell icon. And today, we're talking about the words of Billy Joe Saunders in relation to Tyson Fury. Billy Joe Saunders had some opinions on who Tyson Fury should fight next. It was a very interesting listen for sure. For sure. Without much further delay. Let's get into the words of Billy Joe Saunders. You got people in. I'd like, I'd like to see if I uh, beat Joshua for the belts. Ruiz. That'd be nice. Because obviously Ruiz will get plenty of money and um, it's nice to get his belts. He's really put on a show here, isn't he? He would have done that to any of you in the world. He's feeling good. I would like to see him fight who beat Joshua. Ruiz. I would like to see him fight who beat Joshua. Ruiz. Ruiz will get plenty of money. And he really, in reference to Tyson Fury, he said he really put on a show here tonight. So, he also went on to say, Tyson Fury would have done that to any any other heavyweight tonight. What he did to Tom Schwartz, he would have done to any other heavyweight in the world. Very interesting statements by Billy Joe Saunders. So let's let's unpick that. Let's unravel the threads piece by piece. Okay, so, apparently, Tyson Fury would have done what he did to Tom Schwartz, to any other heavyweight in the world. Now, if that were the case, then why did he, didn't he fight a top-ranking heavyweight? What was the point of him apparently wasting his time with the fourth best heavyweight in Germany, Deutschland. Where is the logic in fighting such a such an outsider, such a low ranking opponent? Yeah, I know he's ranked highly in the WBO, but I go by box rec. And in box rec, he's like the 57th, the 52nd, 57th, 52nd ranked heavyweight in the world. So if if indeed Tyson Fury would have done that to any other heavyweight in the world, why is he wasting his time with low-hanging fruit? Where is the logic in fighting low-hanging fruit if you can do that to any other heavyweight in the world? Allegedly the top guys. If you can do that to the top guys, why waste your time? Why waste your time? Hello. Hello. Nice profile. Why waste your time? So if that is indeed the case, then surely we can expect to see Tyson Fury in with the top 10 guy next time. Surely. Yay? Nay? Will we? Hmm. So that's the first point. Why is he wasting his time with a Tom Schwartz when he could have a top 10 guy if he can do that to any other heavyweight in the world? If he can do that to any other heavyweight in the world, why waste your time? Why waste your time, Fury? Step it up. If you can do that, then step it up. Switch it up a gear. Move up again. That's what we will go. We are going to be expecting from you next time out. Next time out, it needs to be a top guy. <laughs> that would be pleasing. Now, if you're apparently 
allegedly so willing to fight an Andy Ruiz? Why were you not willing to fight an Anthony Joshua for more money? Mo money. Mo money. Why wouldn't you do that? Why are you willing to fight this guy for lesser money when you could afford this guy for more money? I don't understand. Where is the logic? Where is the logic in all of this? It seems quite bizarre. Bizarro world. So, it's going to be very interesting. Interesting to see who Tyson Fury fights next. If you can do that to any other heavyweight in the world, let's see you do it against the top guys. No mo low hanging fruit. Let's step it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Fury. Top opponent next time. Let's see it. We want to see it. Now. Okay. So. This was Raphael Dawkins. If you have not subscribed already, please kindly do so. All you have to do is hit the bell icon. And like, subscribe, comment, and share on your social media platforms. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. And I'm out. And tune into the live shows Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. UK time. On a Saturday, it's a lunchtime, 12.30 p.m. And I'm out. <laughs>